guys, I'm Meredith, one of the editors at Birchbox, and this month we are so excited to be working with Davinis, a very luxe Italian hair care brand that is just as beautiful as it is sustainable. And right now I have with me one of their stylists and global educators, Christine Zielinski. Thank you, Christine, for being with us today. Thank you so much, Meredith. I'm so excited to be here. We prepped your hair with a number nine structuring mist, yes. which is great for any hot tools that you're mm -hmm. using, whether it be irons or flat irons. I am so excited to get started on the braid. Let's me get too. going. Great. I'm going to use the Momo Cream, mm -hmm. which has walnut extract in it, which helps to make the hair shiny. It also has UV protection in it. I'm gonna rub it through my hand so that it keeps a bit of moisture so I have control over the braid as we go. Sounds great. Okay. We're going to wrap the waterfall braid below the crown, okay. have it hang very low so that it has this sort of beachy feeling. Love okay. that. So we're gonna section the hair in three sections. Just like a traditional French braid. Traditional French braid. This puts a base into the braid as you go back. Got okay. it. And then this piece will drop out, so you, this is what makes the waterfall happen. Ah, okay. okay. And then you pick another piece up from the bottom. As you're working, this bottom area here becomes your braid, and you leave this section out, and then you grab another section from the top of the crown. Come in, then the next one goes over. Come from underneath, and then you can see that piece there. We're just gonna leave that. We're gonna go over the top of it to secure it, right? And then this top bit goes in. When you're working the sections through the top, mm -hmm. you want to try to take them as symmetric as possible. Okay. I'm just going to continue mm -hmm. right around your head. So we're on more than halfway point, right? Great. <laughs> and I'm going to keep picking up from the top, incorporating it through the inside. Okay, keep wrapping the hair from the bottom. Okay, so Meredith, mm -hmm. we're just finishing up now. Okay. This is the last section. So what I was saying earlier is it really is up to you how you want to finish the braid. You can either tuck it or just leave the braid out. But really it's just up to preference. Yes. So I'm just going to work a traditional braid. I have a hair tie for you. Okay, great. I'm going to go back over okay. with the structuring mist. Mm -hmm. So if there's any areas that you feel like just may need a little touching up, we can come back through. Okay, so now the final touch. What is it? Yes, that is oi oil, okay. which has ruku oil in mm -hmm. it. You can use it prior to blow drying. Mm -hmm. It helps to really seal the cuticle and give you a lot of shine. Great. Or you can use it at the end, like I'm going to use it as a finishing product. Oh, wonderful, very versatile. Just gonna run it through your hair. I'm so excited for you to see it. Me too, I can't wait, take okay. a look. Oh my gosh, I love it, it's beautiful. I cannot wait to do this so myself. I love it. Thank you so much for being here, and we wanna know from you guys, what do you think of this hairstyle? Will you be trying it at home? Until next time, bye. Bye.